Right, the big story that we're tracking this uh, afternoon, former Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand Chief Minister N.B. Tiwari set to join the BJP. Tiwari has reached BJP President Amit Shah's residence. Tiwari's son Rohit Chekhar is also expected to join the party along with his father. 91-year-old N.B. Tiwari was earlier embroiled in a paternity row. The move is being seen as BJP's bid to woo Brahman votes ahead of assembly elections in Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand later next month. We have uh, Brijesh Pandey, our deputy editor, who's with us uh, live this afternoon. Brijesh, N.D. Tiwari and his uh, son expected to join the BJP today. Uh, do you think that the 91-year-old uh, politician actually has some sort of support base on the ground and the fact that uh, he and his son now uh, will be joining the BJP can actually, you know, add or provide some uh, additional boost to the BJP's prospects in these two states? Well, I think, you know, I mean, the, even the, the, the several BJP, Uttarakhand BJP leaders, they are themselves surprised at this turn of event because uh, N.D. Tiwari has been uh, lobbying very hard for a ticket for his son from all parties available. And he has always uh, has been in touch with BJP leadership uh, for more than, uh, you know, a couple of months now. And, and the fact that both he and his son joining a BJP on the eve of Uttarakhand elections has come as a surprise for many because, you know, uh, whether he commands any kind of clout in Kumau region after so many years is, is, a, is a big question mark, which, uh, which, which, which is, you know, which has to be, uh, uh, which has to be satisfied before th this kind of decision has to be taken place. And apart from that, you know, it has also led to a lot of consternation between uh, within the BJP in Uttarakhand because, you know, there are several uh, candidates or several potential candidates who have been lobbying extensively uh, for various seats. They are now upset at the fact that BJP president, uh, BJP leadership chose to reward a turncoat rather than to reward a local candidates who have been working or toiling very hard for the party's prospect or to improve party's prospect in Uttarakhand. Simi? Right, uh, Brijesh, stay on with us. We're getting these live visuals uh, of Rohit Shekhar and Andy Tiwari with BJP President uh, Amit Shah. The father-son duo expected uh, to join the BJP. They have, in fact, now joined the BJP ahead of crucial elections in Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand. We have our deputy editor, Brijesh Pandey, who's with us uh, live. Brijesh, uh, you know, it's also ironic how uh, N.D. Tiwari, who fought that paternity suit for a long time, claiming that Rohit Shekhar wasn't his son, is now uh, trying to lobby so hard for a seat for his son. Oh, absolutely. And I think, you know, I mean, the, the fact that, you know, both father-son had been embroiled in a bitter court uh, a conflict uh, was also did not go down well with many people. Now, uh, N.D. Tiwari is 91 year old and, uh, you know, people, there, there are several question marks which are being raised that what benefit, what benefit will it bring BJP uh, to induct him on the eve of Uttarakhand election? Because, you know, he has been a congressman all his life in was in Samajwadi party and him changing a party at the last moment and what kind of political influence, influence or what kind of political benefit does N.D. Tiwari or Rohit Shekhar Tiwari bring on the table as far as BJP is concerned is, is extremely doubtful because the BJP per se on its own assessment was a very potent player and you know then it mishandled the whole uh, Harish uh, Rawat uh, coup uh, very badly and, and you know they were even saying that it came as a blessing in disguise for Harish Rawat. Is BJP repeating, for, repeating the same kind of mistake you know earlier a couple of days back by inducting Yashpal Arya and his son and today by inducting N.D. Tiwari and his son, it will remains to be seen. But this has definitely hit the morale of a BJP in Uttarakhand, where several legitimate candidates will be now peeved with the sense that, you know, that the party chose to uh, reward a, a turncoat, somebody who chose to join party at the fag end uh, or the start of the election, rather than to reward those who have been working very hard for the party. Simi? And uh, Brijesh, uh, had the Congress actually sort of carved out a role for N.D. Tiwari in the upcoming elections? Will the party miss his absence at all? Well, I think, you know, I mean, the command right now uh, belongs to uh, um, uh, the Uttarakhand Chief Minister Harish Rawat. And, you know, in, given N.D. Tiwari's a a old age and the fact that, you know, a lot of water has flown through Ganges uh, when he was last time as a very potent politician, uh, a, a lot of permutation and combination of political uh, alignment has also undergone a major shift. So, uh, you know, to see that our, uh, N.D. Tiwari, uh, you know, still wielding the kind of influence he had uh, before in Uttar, uh, in Uttar Pradesh and especially in Uttarakhand, uh, you know, it, it remains to be tested. I mean, he was not a very big major force in the last election. So a lot of uh, Congress party was basically depending a lot more on uh, the duo of, uh, of uh, Uttarakhand Chief Minister Harish Rawat as well as uh, Indra Hardesh and couple of others. So 
uh, uh, I think there will be several in the party who would be, you know, seeing the back of, would be very happy seeing the back of N.D. Tiwari going through into BJP. Simi? Vijay, thanks so much uh, for that detailed report. We're going to keep coming back to you for more updates.